What was that first technique that you did? Ah, that's called Zenghua Tuena. Tuena is a Chinese massage, ancient Chinese massage techniques. And Zenghua means correct bone. In other words, it's a, it's a very slight manipulation of the spine. So each vertebrae, you're making a little bit of space in between the vertebrae and the ribs, so everything comes back and everything aligns itself. And does it hurt? No, actually, it feels really good. And that other technique uh, with the cups, the hot cups? That's really a, also an acupuncture technique. What it does is it frees up all the myofascial skin and muscle that's stuck together and brings blood circulating into the area. And the third one was? Ah, the third one, the bongers. Yes, that, Yeah, that, that, that's like playing drums, you know. <laughs> what that does is it's, it's a sort of vibration. And uh, what it does is it vibrates everything so everything loosens up in the muscles. It feels really nice. After a massage, if you want to throw in the bongers, you can throw in the bongers. You know, just to vibrate a little to, to get the person back, back on his feet. <laughs> Tell us something uh, about you and about your work, and uh, how did you begin? Oh, uh, I began a long time ago, about 12 or 13 years ago. I started in, in physical therapy, and somehow I ended up in massage therapy. And as I progressed in massage therapy, every year I learned some new technique, something different, because uh, I'm always looking for results, results at the bottom line. Whether do you use Eastern techniques or Western techniques, I like to mix everything. How did you end up uh, working with Hollywood stars? Ah, that? <laughs> well, first, I, st I, I, I was working in a few of these really high-end gyms and uh, fitness clubs in uh, Manhattan, which was a uh, health and racket club, athletic and swim club. And then after that, I went to Ritz-Carlton, Central Park South, over there, a lot of the celebrities went to, the pro to that spa where I was working, it was La Prairie Spa. And then after that, the Mandarin Oriental Hotel opened up. And over there, all the stars go to Mandarin Oriental. So I guess I got lucky for being there. So they I, asked for you? Some of them did, yes. <laughs> I had a few regular, regular clients. Did you ever get starstruck? No. No, I have not. I mean, I guess maybe in the beginning, maybe. But I, I, when I do my job, I look at this very professionally. So it doesn't matter if it's a star in front of me or if it's a normal person, everyone gets treated the same. As you said, you are very experienced and uh, uh, in many different techniques. Uh, so is there any tips you can give to our viewers for, I don't know, uh, some pain back or something? Number one, you have to exercise at least a little. More importantly, you have to stretch. If you stretch, up, but on a regular basis, it doesn't mean today you're gonna stretch and then five days later you're not gonna stretch. It has to be a regular basis, sort of like the Chinese, they, they, what they do is every morning they get up and they do Tai Chi, but Tai Chi is very good because at that point you're stretching every muscle and joint and you're lubricating the joint. So they're 100 years old and they're still walking upright, no cane, no back, no uh, wheelchair, you know. So uh, I think the most important thing to avoid is to regularly work out, regularly stretch. Of course, eat right, sleep enough, and things like that. And avoid picking up heavy objects with your back. <laughs> use your legs. Which massage technique would you, use for, uh, would you recommend for someone who, didn't, who doesn't work out ever? Well, it depends if they have a, if they want to just a relaxing massage where they just want to go into the Zen type of spirit or if they have problems. Uh, if they have problems, I would do myofascial pain release and myofascial work and trigger point work and at the same time cupping, which is really good and Zen Gua to start that, up, to start that off. If they just wanted a relaxation massage where they just aching a little bit, this and that, then, then I would do more Swedish techniques, more Ayurvedic technique, more uh, hot stones I'll throw in. Just, just something that, that, that feels good at the same time, it also circulates the blood and also loosens up uh, stuck fascia and skin and muscle.
Do you have any plans for uh, uh, opening some kind of workshops or something Absolutely like that? Absolutely, I have plans for that. But I'm only here one year now, so it takes time in Zagreb for people to know me and to come and see this beautiful spa, well, salon that I have made. Uh, but in the future, yes, I, I plan to open up workshops, maybe some type of schooling. Because I, without education, you, it, an experience you won't get very far in this type of work. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>